हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू श्री नेत्रा ने हैविंग अ क्रिस्टल क्लियर विजन इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ रूटीन डेली एक्टिविटीज इफ यू हैव क्लासेस नो प्रॉब्लम बट इफ यू हैव क्लासेस विथ डिपेंडेंसी ऑन देम फॉर यूर लाइफ एक्टिविटीज डेफिनेटली इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर सच इंडिविजुअल्स वी फाइंड फेकी कायवेल और आई पी सी एल एज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट वे टू ट्रीट द हाई अमाउंट ऑफ नियर साइटेडनेस टू एक्सप्लेन इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज इट इज अ परमानेंट टाइप ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट लेंस प्लेस्ड इन साइड योर आईज हैव अ क्रिस्ट क्लियर विजन इन दिस प्रोसीजर अ स्मॉल टाइनी इंसिजन इज मेड ओवर द कॉर्निया एंड folded fakic eyeval implant is placed in the sulcus inside the eye in front of your natural crystalline lens now here is a actual surgery being performed for fakic eyeval implantation ipcl main port entry of 2.6 mm and a side port entry of 23 gauge is made surgery is performed under topical anesthesia means no injections for this surgery topical anesthetic eye drop are used to numb the eye after this viscoelastic a gel like substance is injected in the eye to make a room for eyeval implantation the lens itself is very thin and delicate it sits comfortably in the sulcus a prior measurements and calculations for this particular iol is a very important step of this surgery the surgery per se will last hardly 5 to 7 minutes you will notice improvement in vision even hours after surgery the iol has four holes in the haptic area two holes in the superior side of a optic which are supposed to get superiorly and one hole in a central optic to have a free flow of aqueous in and out of this lens the iol is placed and folded in the lumen of a cartridge without capturing the iol or haptics before implantation make sure the orientation of iol is proper and take into consideration which eye you are operating and your incision locations keep pressing the iol in the lumen while closing your cartridge flanges once the cartridge is locked you can observe the cartridge under the microscope and note the iol is fully in the lumen of a cartridge and once confirmed then only load the cartridge in the injector you can push the iol slightly to check whether it is freely movable inside lumen or not this way you prevent any breakage of iol before implantation IOL is injected in the anterior chamber. You can see my left hand IOL dialer is over the IOL that prevent any damage to the endothelium while injecting the IOL and allows me for manipulation of IOL if if it opens upside down. Once the IOL is injected in the anterior chamber, tuck all haptics under iris. I can manage tucking the IOL haptic through a single side port incision, but if you want, you can make two separate incisions and do it 
at your own convenience. Put a drop of viscoelastic in the concavity of IOL. This step will prevent capturing of air bubble which can push IOL out of lumen in the cartridge. You can see how comfortably the IOL sits in the sulcus. AC is formed with BSS and intracameral antibiotic is injected. That concludes this a short procedure which can correct your vision for your lifetime. Hope this video is helpful to you. Do subscribe to a YouTube channel Dr. Pankaj Lande for more such videos. Thank you and good day.